According to the National Institutes of Health, the most common type of stroke occurs when blood clots move to blood vessels in the brain and block blood flow. This is called an ischemic stroke. For this type of stroke, a thrombolytic or a clot busting drug can help dissolve the clot and restore blood flow to the brain. Giving a patient a thrombolytic within three hours of the first stroke symptoms can help limit long-term brain damage and disability. It can also improve chances of a full recovery. One kind of a clot-busting drug is tissue plasminogen activator, or TPA. Before giving TPA, your medical team will need to know when the first symptoms began since the drug can only be given within the first three hours of that event. They will also need to know if the patient has bleeding disorders, is taking blood thinner medications like Coumadin, or has uncontrolled high blood pressure. Plus, the patient will need a CT scan to confirm there is no bleeding in the brain. TPA is not always an option. It's not given to someone who is having a hemorrhagic stroke, meaning there has been bleeding in the brain, because the drug could worsen the stroke by causing increasing bleeding. Also, TPA must be given within three hours of the first stroke symptoms to be effective. When it comes to treating strokes, time is of the essence. My advice is, don't wait to see if the symptoms get better on their own. Call 911 immediately if you or a loved one shows any signs or symptoms of a stroke. The sooner you are evaluated, the more treatment options you will have, including TPA.